This is take two, uh, five, entry number 551, 552. I just accidentally hit the button and deleted the last one. So um, I apologize if I seem a little frustrated because I was in the middle of a nice solid rant and and I t turned off the camera. So uh, basically what I was saying was how I'm getting a little, at this point, I'm getting a little frustrated. I wanted to talk about two things and I'll start with the thing I was talking about before because I ruined the other one. Uh, and I'll get back around to it, but the first, th the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that people nowadays don't want to sacrifice any of their pleasure, any of their pleasure, or anything for, the, for their pleasure, I should say. They don't want to sacrifice anything for the sake of their own pleasure. And to me, it's like very frustrating and really insulting. Because, you know, I had made plans with some of my friends for the weekend. And, you know, I really wanted to hang out because it's been like three weeks. And I spent basically the whole morning running around, waiting for them to get back to me. And then when we finally did meet up, they only could meet for like a couple hours. And then they were tired and they needed to sleep. And they said they would call me back before they went out again and they didn't and they just left me out and you know the the whole leaving me out part didn't really bother me but the fact that you know they the fact that they just fucking uh just didn't sacrifice anything they did everything they wanted to do and didn't think about didn't think about like anyone but themselves you know I've done so much so much sacrificing of my own time for people while I've been here there's been times where I wanted to show people around places and you know I wanted to show them around places and so I said oh, okay let's just meet this time and we did and well we didn't because I would wait, I've waited for people for like three hours before at a, at, at a bus stop because they said they would be here at a time and then they, then they just went out the night, the night before and partied and got and were hung over and didn't wake up, you know, when they said they would. And, you know, it's really insulting to me personally and it's really an affirmation of how much, you know, it's an affirmation of something I already knew, which is how much people are unwilling to sacrifice nowadays um, and it's just something that I have to have to swallow and accept because it's so bloody frustrating to have to have to not have your 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 kindness reciprocated and I know it's not something that I should expect but it's something that I that for some reason I still expect you know I care a lot about the, the, the few friends I've been able to retain here and if they don't it, it seems like they really don't give a shit about me at all and it's just it just hurts on a personal level um, yeah and then the first thing I wanted to talk about was or the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, a kind of irrational sort of irrational phobia I've been having and I do have and I think it's a actually a strength and a flaw um, but what you know I love uh, bingsu which is like this ice thing here it's like an icy dessert and it's a little warm today and so I thought I'd treat myself to one and yesterday I was gonna get one but I said no you should wait and so I waited and I hyped it up and I was all ready to get one today and I walked out at like 11 o'clock I walked to the one nearest to my place and I stood outside was ready to go in and it took me like 10 minutes I was like right at the door and I just stood there and didn't go in and I stood there for like 10 minutes and I was like all right fine just go to another one so I walked to another one and I stood outside of it for like 10 minutes and I was like all right just go to another one and I did that four times 
because there's a whole bunch of them around where I live. And every time I just would walk out, walk outside, and just stand there looking inside and just, I couldn't bring myself to go in. And I think, you know, in the, in the bad sense, you know, I, it ended up that I didn't get to eat one. And I, you know, I still could eat one today, but I might not. I didn't get to eat one. And, um, but on the good sense, it's preserving them as something that is very special. Um, I think a lot of people nowadays just take pleasures for granted. And they go like, oh, I want, I want X. And they just go out and get X for themselves. And they just wolf it down. And that's it. You know, that's, that's the end of it. That's the end of X. And there's no thought given into, like, the specialness of that. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no real, like, um, novelty in it. It's just something that you can get, and so why not just give it to yourself? Um, and for me, these things, I don't take them lightly. Like, it's something that's special and should be treasured kind of cherished and uh, I just I don't know I still could maybe get one later but uh, for some reason there's just I couldn't bring myself to uh, to to go get one of these things alone it's also a big part of it is that it's a it's something that you're supposed to do with a group of people and um, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it but uh, I think it's good overall because it keeps this sort of being being so special, special treat, and something I won't just get willy nilly. Uh, but uh, that's about it, you know. I know I just gotta keep in mind, you know, manage expectations and realize that people are not people are not most people are not people pleasers. You know, they're they're self pleasers, and. Um, I think for a lot of people, uh, there's a test or whatever where they put this, like, if people can self-medicate, or if rats can self-medicate with, like, cocaine water or whatever, they'll just drink all this cocaine water, which, which that study has actually been kind of disproven, but, but, um, but, um, people, you know, just, I have to realize that people are not here to please me, and they're not here to... They're not here. I shouldn't expect them to kind of do anything they don't want to do. Um, you know, I was with another friend later that night, and he was saying how he was saying trying to justify these other people's behavior by saying people just want to have fun. And I got I got that from a lot of people back in my other city, yeah, where I used to live in Kangning. And there was a guy called another guy called uh, Mo who was all in on keeping himself happy not about at all me doing anything for any other other person except for himself and I think that's how the majority of people are nowadays like if I ask someone oh you want to hang out you know no one can just say yes no, they always say like oh well let me see what I have going on and you know it's like what the hell you know just say you can do something don't fucking make excuses all the time about not doing things and then just waiting to do something with someone else that you want that you like want to do something more with and you know it makes me feel like I'm less than and it's just a stupid thing and I know it makes me sound like an asshole talking about it but it's like why can't anyone just like make a plan and stick to it you know it's really frustrating in that regard you know it's easy to just say okay let's do this and then do it but people always say like no I need to like make sure or I should wait or I just want to play things by ear it's like if you want to always just play things by ear like nothing ever comes together and everything will just be last minute and bullshit and just commit to something and follow through it's not that hard and I've probably waited for people while I've been in, in Korea for probably like 20 hours to combine for just like people being late a lot or just not coming. It's been a couple times where like I've had plans and the, 
person just like never showed and it's like that's, that's such bullshit you know like it's just complete and utter bullshit but uh yeah i'll get off i'll get off my soapbox now and end it here thanks for watching and i'll talk with you in a couple days bye